Hey, Billy the Consumer. We don't give a fuck about you. That's how it is, isn't it? I'm almost certain. Oh, the developers and publishers alike want to get rid of used games because they go against the rising cost of development for AAA titles? AAA titles like what? AAA titles like this? Should I be responsible for the publishers and developers and the money they lose when they release stuff like this? And once again, I'm not saying it's a terrible, terrible game as I have not even completed it yet, but as you probably know and heard, it is not a very well received game. In fact, a lot of problems with it. That just being said, why should I have to buy that new? Excuse me, publishers and developers, and whoever else involved. Why the fuck should I have to buy this brand new? Give me one good reason. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't have bought it fucking used. Tell me. Huh? I can't hear you. I can't hear you over the... The sound of the way shit has been for years. Motherfuckers. Like, who the fuck do you people think you are? I gotta pay full price for this without knowing and having the companies and some PR websites hype it up. Are you fucking kidding me? I paid, I think, uh, less than $10 for that brand new, okay? Knowing it might not be good, but I don't care because I bought it used. So even if it's shitty, I'm only losing, what, $10? But not really because I still own the game and it's like renting it. Like back in the day when you could rent games. These days you can't really so much. At least not where I live. And I don't care because I don't want to rent games anymore. I'm an adult, I guess. Some could argue that, but not you. Publisher and developer. You want to get rid of used games for your AAA titles? Oh, you're not making enough money. Oh, where does the money go? Oh, GameStop takes all the money. The used game market is eating away our profits. Bitch, you got nothing to stand by. And the games you're making, quite frankly, it's a niche market. Like, okay, are you making Call of Duty? Are, are you a developer or publisher that is currently making and releasing the next Call of Duty Ghost? Are you that? Are you them? Probably not. Because you know, and Activision knows. Actually, Activision is a, a, a pretty good example, but they know that what they release, and in the case of Call of Duties, it's a surefire, sure, sure hit, you know? So they could do that. They're not worried about the used sales. I find that the only people that are worried about, you know, the used game markets, or the companies and publishers that are worried about the used game markets, are greedy ass motherfuckers like Electronic Arts. What have they done for us lately? Well, besides Battlefield 3, but that's more of a dice thing. You know what I'm saying? What have, what have they done for us lately? Think about it. Aside from the yearly sport updates, which we all know they're good, that's fine. But what have they done for us lately? And they want us to feel sorry. Or the, the little developers and publishers crying about DRM and used games? Because people are pirating and buying used games? Bitch. Yeah. What do you think? Do you think everyone can just be, uh, or every game in the the indie world can be the next Minecraft or the next whatever? You know, it, it doesn't work like that. Like, like cut the shit out. You, you're really pissing me off and many other people that I know, acting like that. Like, first of all, we're gamers. Okay, we play the games. I don't give a shit who makes the game or who releases it. I honestly don't give a fuck unless they're developers that I've known for years and, and that I respect or that I, I like their work personally. Of course, I'm always going to buy a brand new. Do you know what I mean? I don't give a shit about some small time developer. I, I, I don't care who made the game, quite frankly. Not these days. Unless it's like uh, a fame name developer, okay? And then we get it. We, we like what they made before. We like their style. We like the game designer style. So we care about that. We will plunk money down to buy brand new. But you know what? 
Like, it, like if we're just gonna release something and just start crying and bitching, oh, the used game really hurt our sales. What? <laughs> you know what? <sighs> Tekken Tag Tournament too, okay? As as you all know, Tekken is probably my you know third favorite video game franchise of all time. Number one being Ridge Racer and two Shenmue. Shenmue took over Tekken, but that's fine. This game, when it came out, I was hyped to fuck. You want to talk about fan service? You want to talk about getting banged for your buck? Listen to all you indie developers and shitty publishers and other developers out there, big triple AAA making game motherfuckers. Listen to what this... or Play this. See what it's jam-packed with. Amazing content. Some of the best fan service I've ever seen in a game before. Literally. And this game literally flew under the fucking radar. And, and as far as I last checked, worldwide sales for 360, Wii U, and PS3 were not what N Namco or even I was expecting. They're, they were pretty pretty low. Not terrible, but, but not too good either. And I bought it brand new. So what should I do at this point? Buy three more copies? Huh? Namco just made a new Tekken game for PS3. Free to play. And so whose fault is it? Who Whose fault is it now? Is it the publisher, the developer, or the fans? Or the used game market? Whose fault is it that Tekken Tag Tournament 2 did not meet expectations. Whose fault is it? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. Just because it's my favorite series, my favorite fighting game, and one of the best ones I've ever played, doesn't matter. You know? And you know what? One second. <laughs> the used game market. <laughs> Hurt the sales of my favorite series. You're to blame. Not, not just, you know, luck. That had nothing to do with it. It was the used game market. You guys destroyed Tekken. Yeah. We did. We destroyed Tekken, the series, because Tekken Tag Tournament 2 sales were abysmal. Right. Who are these people? Who the fuck are these people? I want to know who these people are. God damn it, you know, I, I know I'm getting older. I know it's like, I should accept change and I should accept, you know, things being different, but I can't accept this. Do you know these people? No. Do you honestly know these people? Like these these people are, are sick in the head, man. You know, like where you think I'm crazy and you think I, I'm weird and fucked up. Who, who are these people? They're they're crying about used games. They hate GameStop. They what? They claim they, they only buy games brand new. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Millionaire. I'm sorry to come down your chimney and fuck up your fireplace like that. Huh? Not everybody's the same. But I know for the most part, and the past week has definitely shown us that, in general, there are more gamers that are supportive of no DRM and want used games than, than has ever before been demonstrated. Because of the whole Xbox One and PS4, DRM, no use games issues, yada yada. But, I just get tired of certain developers and publishers. Always talking about their AAA games and how, when they release something like Dead Space 3, which I enjoyed. I own Dead Space 3, I like it. I bought it for X, actually Xbox 360 and Steam, but, or not Steam, but you know, PC, Origin. Uh, and I really enjoyed it. But apparently it didn't do well and it was a failure under EA's terms, you know? It's like, so why should I feel bad? So what What did that? It definitely wasn't used games, motherfuckers. It definitely was not. And don't you ever fucking say that again. 
Dead Space 3 was a great game. It was fun. It was interesting. I didn't really play the first two, so I, so I got into it. And you know what? I liked it. But once again, I don't give a fuck if it failed or not. And it's not on me, the gamer, the consumer. And I should not have to pay for someone else's fuck up. Or, how do I say it? Misuse of funds? If, you can't, if you're going to fund something and it's such a risk all the time, then take a few setbacks, bitches. Set yourselves back, fund a little less, take some projects, settle them down a bit, and stop worrying about the next fucking triple A title. Not everyone's going to have them. You can't always have a Halo or Call of Duty. Funny how they're all first person shooters, but... So nip that shit in the motherfucking ass and cut it out. Because I love my used games. And you can't take them away from me. You can't take my used games away from the whip whip. Who the fuck you think you are, man? And you thought this was going to be just, oh, Xbox One. It's the future. It's taking away. So, well, guess what? Microsoft reversed the decision today and they allowed used games. Look at that. Because the consumer, once again, always wins. I win. Dead Space 3. Oh, I'm so sorry. Your, your AAA title that you spent all this money on didn't do what you thought it was going to do. And why should we give a shit? Why should we give a shit? I could certainly live without Dead Space 3 ever ever existing. Because I played games better than it. That were probably made a lot cheaper. Oh, but Sean, you don't understand. When the new consoles come out, it's going to cost even more to develop because of the graphic capabilities. And we got to make more better graphics and make the games cost more money. Blah, blah. Fair enough. But not every game has to be uh, a destiny, right? Whip, whip out of here, motherfuckers.